Isaiah chapter 7, Therefore the Lord himself will give to you a sign. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel, which means God with us. What's up guys, it's Alec Mac 111 and I hope you are having a Merry Christmas. Jesus is the reason for the season, he's the reason why we're here celebrating this. And whether this is your first Airsoft Christmas Alec Mac 111 unboxing, or you're a loyal fan that has watched now six in a row, I encourage you to grab a snacky snack, because this is going to be a long video. You guys know what's coming next. That was close. <laughs> yeah, boy. All right, boys and girls, we're going all gas, no brakes to start out this unboxing. First up, I've actually purchased this yesterday from a guy. This is like his entire collection, and the gun that he has in this is a custom Umbrella Armories ARP9. This is only the second Umbrella Armories gun I have ever owned, and only the third ARP9. I've actually never fielded one of these. I really want to change that with this gun, and this thing is absolutely awesome. He's got an ASEC tracer on here. He's got the Crytek Defiant sights. A BCM vertical foregrip. The only problem is he has it the wrong direction. Right direction? Wrong direction. Just personal preference, but I think it feels way better when you're holding it this way because you can lock it in your shoulder better. It matters for real steel, doesn't matter as much airsoft. But nonetheless, great grip choice, Sam. He also has some pretty cool key mod. Uh, these are also BCM panels right here and basically only have that little section. So he just cut them to fit the size and they're actually cut really well. He does have one single magazine and also the extendo clip if you absolutely want to go crazy. I believe these drums are like 1500 rounds from G&G. Uh, that is absolutely crazy. And the internal list on this thing, if any of you guys know anything about umbrellas, you probably do because they're like the best custom uh, internal makers ever. This thing is packing heat. Basically, the only thing stock left on this is the gearbox shell itself, and it has been reinforced. There's a giant parts list here. You guys know Umbrella has top-of-the-line guns. This was purchased for $1,100 retail. Their stuff is expensive, but it is well worth it because they have incredible guns. Now that we have his primary out of the way, we are moving to his secondary pistol, and this man got a SAI high kappa and then tweaked it out a little bit and also decided to get six high kappa mags. I don't know if you guys run that many mags, but he's got six, three of which have the SAI base plates on them, and three of which are just other basic AW Custom magazines. But the SAI base plates are really cool on these. It does have the stock slide on this pistol, but that's about all that's stock on the gun. Unfortunately, he did replace the gold outer barrel, which is a little bit weird because those gold SAI barrels are awesome. But he did add a lot of cool things to the bottom. You can see this is a definitely a different grip. Um, I believe this is like a different one of the AW Custom Grips, but I actually really like this as opposed to the stock SAI grips. Not that they're not good, but I don't love them as much. And he's also put a really cool mag wall on here. This is one of the ones that kind of has the cutouts on the side which allows you really quick access to your magazines. You kind of grip them to rip them a little bit easier. Last but certainly not least, gun-wise, he did include a KJW, I think this is a KCO2 non-blowback. I have not had one of these in forever. It's kind of like a similar style Luger-ish, but it basically is a non-blowback rifle that works with these little magazines, and it shoots incredibly hard. There's no hop-up in the system at all, so you do not shoot accurately, but I have not had one of these guns for like six years now. Finally, we've got the accessories for his collection. He did include a really nice sniper scope. I have no idea if he's running this on here. I hope not. And then he also has a ton of batteries that he included, and they also included some really nice pouches. I'm not exactly sure if these are Blue Force gear, but they feel like it. I think they're like a Blue Force gear pistol pouch, which I believe is what he used the 1911 mags in. Also, Tracer BBs and gas for the Ace Tech that's on the ARP-9. Alrighty, up next, we have the first of the accessories box. So I actually purchased, in this unboxing alone, the three Chinese boxes that you guys will see is $5,000 of my money spent on accessories and externals. And they create some of the coolest, nicest parts. Ooh, baby. These are basically the nicest reproduction optics that are around. I have a company in China that I've kind of been working with, getting some really cool optics. We have MROs, which look so, so, so cool. Hey, bet you've never seen any other YouTuber juggle a bunch of really expensive optics from China. Huh? 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 Not only do we have MROs in tan, but I also purchased some in black as well. If you guys know anything about SRs, it's basically a Trigicon repro of a solar reflex optic. They're really, really nice. They have really, really nice mounts. Oops. These are basically the highest quality airsoft sights that I have been able to find. Not only do we have MROs though, we also have Trigicon RMR. So I actually run a real Trigicon RMR on my Glock. I have a Gen 5 Glock 17 
But these airsoft versions are super, super cool. You can run this on a pistol. You can run this on like an SMG if you want. They do come with Glock plates. They have a Glock mount. So if you actually want to mount this to your airsoft Glock, you can kind of throw that bad boy on there like mine. And finally in these box, I also got some Surefire Light Repros. I got them in black as well as tan. And this also this really cool gray pattern as well. I actually got these because I'm kind of curious if it'll work well with my Glock. So imagine this bad boy just sliding right in there on your Glock and then you have to tighten this and you can run that and instead of having just a gun without a flashlight, you can have a gun with a flashlight. So for CQB, a lot of you guys are running high kappas. These will be awesome for you. This is definitely the package that I've got that closest resembles a Christmas present based on how it is wrapped. I can just imagine all of you guys doing just all the ripping of the wrapping paper and the excitement just going absolutely crazy. Now guys, be honest with me, is it really an Alec Mack 101 unboxing video unless there is a super cool Polar Star in the video? I think not. Starting out with Polar Star number one out of the unboxing, first thing I notice is, what? Bro, why do you have your iron sight one backwards and two right there? I'm not gonna ask questions. What? But up first is a G&G &G Polar Star. This thing is actually pretty nice. It feels really good externally. I saw this on eBay and I saw it for a pretty good price. And I was like, man, I have definitely got to snatch that up. These newer versions of the G&Gs that have like thicker polymer bodies are actually really, really nice. This does have a jack engine in it. So it's definitely the lesser of the Polar Star engines, but it is still HPA nonetheless. And it does still do the job and it shoots well. There is an upgraded hop up in here as well as an upgraded bucking and barrel, which is one of the most important upgrades you can make to your airsoft guns. It does have an airsoft uh, tango down style grip here as well as an amp rated line and basic gng stock he did include some sort of backpack in this as well it looks like this is the backpack that he used to run his tank which is kind of funny he's got like some sort of padding in there i don't know if that's just to help like keep it rigid with the tank in there because that is a big old tank i have no idea what brand this is Onto the air rig for his gun. He actually does have two lines in here, which is pretty nice. This is one of the foliage green amped airsoft lines. I love these things. And this one is a black. I think the black and foliage green look super good. Then there's a 48 3000. And this one, I believe, is just a little bit. It's a 62 3000. And it also has a Ninja LPR V2 up here. These are really solid regulators. I have mostly stuck with the Redline SFRs. However, I have heard really good things about these regulators as well. And it looks like it's freshly Teflon taped. I don't know if that means it's old, but he has a little bit of Teflon tape on there. For those of you that don't know, it basically just helps seal. And if there's any leaks or anything, you can kind of put something on there to kind of keep all the air in there, if that makes sense. And last but not least, a random high cap and a random KWA K120. If you're using K120s and they're feeding anything over a 0.25 gram BB, call yourself a lucky airsofter. Up next is accessories box number two. And if you guys stick around to the end of this video, I'm actually going to be giving away one of every single accessory or optic that I have. And you can find out how to win one of those at the end of the video. Up first, we have some ACOG style optics. These are not zoom, they're just a basic red dot, but they are really nice build construction. It's actually the first time I've ordered these, but they feel really, really rigid. I know a lot of people just like the look of a Trijicon style optic. Finally, optic wise, we have a loophole replica LCO. I've actually never owned one of these before, but I've seen a lot of these on real steel guns and man, the quality feels really good. It's like a hybrid between a red dot and EOTech from what I've seen. Um, but I'm not sure as I've not tried any of them out, but it feels really, really nice. Up next, we have a pretty long box. And as you can tell by the little bit of sneak peek right there, it is a Crytek Trident. Does look like the red dot kind of busted through right here, but it looks like everything is in good shape. And man, these things are awesome. If you have not purchased a Crytek, I would say, honestly, I think this is the best starter gun in Airsoft. And some people may be like, <gasps> But man, for the price, these things are super affordable. I actually run a Crytek as my main gun. Obviously, it's a little bit different because there's nothing stock left on mine besides the upper and lower receiver, whereas this one is pretty much mainly stock. But they make awesome base builds, and they're also really, really good. Like the internals, even the internals of this, I sold to somebody, and they threw it in another gun, and they have great internals. They last for a long time, and they just feel so, so nice. This is actually a pretty cool little nifty thing on here. I've not seen these uh, shield lens protectors that actually flip. It does not say a brand or anything, but it's a pretty cool little ad. And then it's got like a basic GP tactical red dot there. And then a falling out of the key mod via Vism grip. This is actually a pretty nice little mini um, vertical grip. 
I actually like what he's done with the barrel as well. It looks like the flash hider is a little bit further in there, but I really like that look. The flash hider is closer to the rail system. And I love this wolf gray. I don't know if you guys can see in the light that well, but I think wolf gray on the Crytax looks really good. That was actually the first Crytek that I ever owned was a wolf gray LBOA. Up next, gun number two of three in this box. Man, brings back all the memories. This is a Ares Amoeba AM013, I believe. I was back, actually worked for Z-Shot when these were being released. So I got to test these at Faded Giant 2. I was one of the first people that ever got to test one. Those of you that have been around for a little bit have probably heard me say it a lot of times, but I was super honored to be able to do that with Wallace. Uh, basically me and my buddy Zach got to kind of take these and run them all around the field. And people were like, yo, is that a honey badger? Whoa, where'd you get that? And I was like, yo, Z-Shot, you're about to get the hookup. He has done something a little weird. He's kind of made his own monolithic upper rail system right there by throwing the what is usually the bottom rail on the top. But I mean, hey, do your own thing. I love how the suppressors are integrated in these barrels. They look so, so, so good. The polymer bodies are actually really nice as well. They are very good at standing up to things um, when you kind of abuse them and they last pretty well and their stocks are really cool. Only problem is that it's a little bit cramped with the battery compartment in there. But if you really want to kind of run a kind of a gun, if you're going to get out of a truck or something and then whip this boy out, he did include some mags as well. And then last, but certainly not least is a WE 1911. This is like an MEU style 1911. It actually looks like it's in pretty great shape. It does have a little bit of wear on the grip. This is like the Tanio Koba style grip. So they're like a little bit rubbery which i actually really like i don't think these are the actual ones this is just a we signature series but i actually like this one a lot the black looks pretty good we has definitely been stepping up their game recently a lot of they used to have a lot of issues with we's right out of the box but this feels pretty good no guarantee it shoots well but at least it's cool and it's got a cool silver mag little pause in the middle of the craziness i have some little tiny packages i usually do the little tiny packages first but for some reason i decided to start with the heat and then hit the middle packages before we get into some heat again first up i have some choice squid grips and these squid grips actually work in these viking tactical rail systems so i'm going to try and attempt to put these squid grips here and if you are loyal subs you know that i love the trx rail system i love squid grips and they feel super awesome so i'm going to attempt to fit them inside this rail system so i can kind of cover them i bought two packs we'll see what happens i also bought some real ones uh, that are the new M-Lock system for my real AR. And then secondly, as a little tiny flashlight, I'm a sucker for flashlights, so Through Night sent me this. I will be doing some sort of little review on this in one of my unboxing videos, but I can't stand out of flashlights. I think they're so cool. And the third and final accessories box, these have got to be the coolest out of all of them. These are the Trigicon SRO Solar Reflex Optics, and one of my buddies has this on his real pistol, and I think it's gone through like 100 rounds. I have these in black. This really cool, like kind of dark earth tan, an orange, and then a gray. These are one of my favorite optics. I'm actually thinking about switching from the RMR to the SRO. And you guys are gonna have the opportunity to win one of each and every single one of these, one in each color. I'm doing that with everything if I have a certain color of it. So like, there's gonna be three flashlights up for ability to get you guys to win. There's SROs, there's RMRs, and the rules to enter. Only thing you have to do, one, be subscribed to the channel. I can check that. Two, go sub go follow my Instagram, either Alec underscore McLean or Alec Mac 111. Go follow one of those. And then I'm gonna post on my Instagram and you can either comment under that or you can comment in this video. I'm gonna be picking like 15 random winners. Um, it's been a hard year. I know 2020 has been a lot for you guys. It's been a lot for me as well. And so I want to be able to give it back to you. And I think that'd be kind of cool. To see your guys maybe open one of these, put a smile on your face. I appreciate you guys a lot. Let's get into the last gun, baby. Up last. And certainly not least, I went and I did it again. I bought another Tanaka Car 98. I saw this boy come up on eBay and I was like, man, that price is too good to not say yes to. And so I now have two of these bad boys. This is like my favorite all time airsoft weapon. And those of you that love World War II, Man, you will recognize this and you will see how cool this gun is. I think this thing is absolutely beautiful. This is like the fifth one I've ever owned. I owned two back when I was in high school and then I got a Springer in my sophomore year of college and then I bought two of the gas versions recently. So the one is sitting under my bed in Winona Lake and this one got here to me in Ohio. And man, this thing is just absolutely beautiful. Like, I'm sure you guys can tell by the build quality 
Um, this one is like new condition. The other one was brand new. This one is like just a tab use. And one of the things I really want to do is you guys have been telling me to shoot the guns that I do unboxings of. So I'm thinking next week I might do a video where I actually shoot all these guns. And so I would be shooting this bad boy as well. I actually feel this once the same gun. It was like, I think it was the second one I got second out of the five that I had. And it was one of the most fun things in the world. I literally ran up at the beginning of an event, racked one round in, and there was a kid that came over this hill and it shoots, this boy shoots like 450. So he's probably like a hundred feet from me, but I put one like straight in his plate carrier and you heard like the thud and he was like, Ugh, and then like walked out, just hit him straight in the plate carrier with his plates on. And so it was one of the most satisfactory kills that I've ever had in Airsoft. Probably the coolest, um, definitely the most unique because this bad boy only holds like 10 to 20 rounds. I think this boy has, I think he holds 10 rounds in this magazine. Yeah, it's like 10 rounds in the magazine. Definitely got to choose your shots wisely. I only have the two magazines for this now. I think I had one at a time. I had like three, so I was like shooting 10 rounds and then reloading and then shooting another 10 rounds and then like sitting there with my little speed loader. <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, but it has come to an end. I had like three packages that actually got stuck in the mail that should have been here like a week ago that did not get here. COVID is crazy with shipping. There's like more packages that have been shipped this year than anything else. But I think that's going to mean that over the next month, I'm going to have some pretty solid unboxings as well. I love you guys. Seriously, if you have any questions or anything, feel free to DM me. I respond to everybody. I love you guys. Jesus is the reason for the season. Have a merry, merry rest of your Christmas. I'll see you guys soon.